Hey folks, this is Jimmy here in Strange, Vermont. Got a very cool stone for you. I found this stone a couple years ago. And it blew my mind because I hadn't really seen too many faces in stones or carvings or hadn't noticed them yet. This was one of the first ones I did notice. And... What it showed me was a face, a guy wearing a hood, and a beard. A bearded man in a hood. And if you turn it, it looks like a female. In a hood. It's smooth on the bottom, which wants you to think it would sit like that, just like that. It's a complicated color. There's some blue and orange in it, and other colors. can't say I see much much like this what we find here is white quartz that looks like a turtle effigy to me Um, it shakes what you know because men with beards wearing hoods carved into stone possibly thousands of years ago. I find these along with carvings of mammoth and buffalo and cats, tigers, Things like that, wild animals. So the megafauna were here when these stones were being carved. And this is interesting because he has a pipe in his mouth. You can see it right here where my thumb is. See the pipe? Bearded, hooded man with a pipe in Vermont. Now, who is this guy? You can even see the pupil in the eye. That gives the stone the ability to look at you. And if you treat these stones like they have personalities, they'll look back at you and give you information. They hold information. They hold a lot of information. Or they can tune you into information that's all around. Not quite sure, but the stones facilitate your inner eye or your mind. And my premise for, for find, when I found all of this down by that wall was maybe it was possible to get into the temple mind of these people through their art and their images and their stones and it's very possible I've learned quite a lot from what they left the information they left and the way they lived and just living in the place um, it's obviously a sacred site. It's got quartz coming out of the ground. It's got burial mounds. There's giants buried here. A few kilometers down the ridge, um, eight and a half foot skeletons with double rows of teeth were found. Just over a hundred years ago, not that long ago. Of course they're gone now, but they were found right on this ridge. There's a history here that isn't written. 
it's carved in stone and that's what we're seeing here and there's other things going on here too and if you're going to think a site is or call a site a sacred site let's say there's a reason for it um, the energies here are, are very powerful there's an aquifer under the mountain here almost a thousand feet and there's water on three sides between two rivers around this site and a lot of sacred sites were found in similar places and this is up high it's on a ridge top that's been here a long time you can see the bedrock I mean see how ancient it looks some of this bedrock is Precambrian which is quite old and quartz is just another state of water and matter the way they tell us it's formed deep under the ground under pressure and heat this place when I came here, I didn't know anything about the history of the area, the Native American history or prehistory. Or I started looking for arrowheads and I couldn't find any, but I did find other strange things, anomalies, like why would the wall be built the way it was, the Great Serpent Wall? Why is it acoustic? Why is it hollow? Why are there chambers in it with stone tools and carvings of elephants? And I had to create a narrative to figure all this out. I hit some resistance with the powers that be. They don't, they don't buy it. They say glaciers did this. <laughs> well, okay. Isn't that pretty? No wonder they use this stone to immortalize a person or a couple or a duality, the male and the female. This place changed my perspective, which changed my mind, which changed my life. And it's healed me in many ways on a, on a uh, spiritual level. balancing your energies and freeing yourself of anything that might not be true if that makes sense and you do that by seeking the truth by not lying and that's a journey in itself and these are the rewards you get. Mysteries and questions. And things you can ask yourself that no one else can ask themselves because they know nothing about it. Imagination is a wonderful thing. And you can actually learn to push your imagination farther and farther focus your inner eye you can go anywhere it's a healing process mind body and soul and your heart is your 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 focus your heart heart is what it's love love doesn't mean you're not dangerous truth can be very dangerous it strikes like a sword and when you're faced with it you, it changes you blessings all this is Jimmy here in strange Vermont on Paleo Mountain 
with my hooded friend. Blessings all.